Unit 8 is talking about describing people. When we describe someone in English, we can pretty much do it in any order we want to. But in ASL, that order is very specific. We always start with general information and then add details in a very specific order. First, we talk about gender. Are they a guy or a girl? Then we move on to ethnicity. What kind of background do they have? What's their race? Then we talk about height and their body type. Then we add details like eyes, hair color, any other distinctive features. And last, we talk about clothing because that normally changes every day. So I'm going to go through each of these signs. I'm going to show, you, tell you the word and then sign it twice. First is gender. You already know the signs for male and female, just man and woman. You can use boy and girl as well. Next is ethnicity or race. The first one we're going to talk about is Arab or Middle Eastern. Asian. Black, African American traces the shape of Africa and then the sign America. Hispanic, you can just sign Spanish or you can say speak Spanish. Indian, as in from Southeast Asia. Native American. And finally, Caucasian or white. It's a little different than the color white. Then we talk about height. So you can talk about whether a person is tall or if they're short. For short, your hand's going to move down instead of moving up. If I look at the person, that means it's compared with my height. So that means this person is a little shorter than I am or a little taller than I am because I'm looking at them compared to me. Next is body type. So there's two signs for thin. Watch the mouth, what my mouth is doing there. Next is average or kind of a normal healthy look. Heavy set or overweight. And finally, built or very muscular. The last part are details or specific features, like being pregnant. Here's the details. And there's the sign pregnant. Next is freckles. Bald. has two different signs. Acne or bad pimples. Scar. Scar can move around. It depends on where the scar is. On your forehead, on your cheek, on your nose, on your elbow. Just doesn't matter, it's a directional sign. Dimples. These are also a directional sign. Usually you have them in your cheeks, but you can also have them in your chin, in your eye, in different places. 
braces, and finally, tattoo. After that, we add any other details, like describing what your face looks like, the shape of your face, or the placement of your eyes, or what color they are, what your hair looks like, and we'll talk about that more later, and then last is your clothing. 